This is Twit. Now let's move on before we start up too much Microsoft hate and talk about, oh, I don't know, how about crowdsourcing law enforcement? This is an interesting little story that comes to us from the Car Connection, talking about how in December of last year, Roman authorities asked their citizens if they could take pictures of cars that were double parked or parked illegally or otherwise owned by scofflaws. They wanted them to tweet those pictures to the Roman police's official Twitter webpage. Now, with those tweets, with those pictures, they uh, they received over 1,100 tweets and they responded to over 740 of them, issuing several hundred citations. Now, Oliver, I want to throw this over to you first because I, I'm thinking maybe you might have an opinion on this. This kind of reeks of fascism, just a little bit, ask, asking your fellow citizen to report on you. But there's also an interesting enterprise angle here in that they used an existing network resource, they used, they used social networking, and they're also using a deep-seated desire within most people to see the rule breakers get punished. Is this something that enterprise could learn from? In what way? Efficient use of resources? Sure. Um, you know, evil, <laughs> evil plans and initiatives? Yeah, I, I, I don't think corporations need to learn about that but, but if, you know if, if they need a crash course i guess this is a this is a great idea i think it's awful personally but uh tell me yeah, all the, wait you know what oliver let's let's air that out tell me all the reasons why you think it's awful because it is fascist I mean, <laughs> okay you know because you know it, it it starts with a parked car you know then it then it goes to whatever somebody at the at the wrong rally somebody who said the wrong thing somebody who's you know i mean it can just, I'm, I'm getting a little fantastical but obviously there is a chain so no, I don't want to set the precedent. Okay, okay, I, I can respect that. I like that. And let me let me throw it over to the, your esteemed colleague across the ocean, Chebert. Is this fascist? I mean, I I look at this and I say, here's a government agency figuring out how social networking works. And the way social networking works is you give us something and we give you something. And in this case, it's you give us information about your fellow citizens who are breaking the law, and we will give you the satisfaction of being able to see them get a ticket. It. Uh, this is kind of how social networking works, right? Uh, I'm not sure I like it, but just because I'm going to flip the coin and go on the other side. Have you ever seen the parking in Rome? Oh, my God. I swear, the Roman drivers, um, uh, they they must take a crash course in, um, you know. <laughs> is that an F1 car? Know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I can believe that. The drivers in Rome, I think the, the lines between the, the lanes are just guidelines, you know? <laughs> I swear, I, I've seen some of the worst drivers on the face of the earth in Rome. I had to drive in Rome once, and it scared the bejesus out of me. The only other place that scare me more is Tokyo. Mm, sad. So, a little bit sad. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd like the Roman drivers to behave a little better. And, it, you know, hey... You know, when in Rome. I guess I, I guess that's just how we're gonna leave it. When in Rome.